In this video, you'll see how to monitor your Azure environment using Amazon Managed Grafana. With this service, you can get a consolidated view of data, visualize metrics from your Azure cloud environment, and monitor the health and performance of applications. To get started, let's create an Amazon Managed Grafana workspace to visualize metrics from Azure Monitor. First, we'll give the workspace a name. On the second step, we'll retain the settings for authentication access and permission type. Note that AWS Single Sign-On, or SSO, must be enabled. Next, we'll configure the IAM Permission Access settings to allow Grafana to monitor resources in our current account. We'll indicate the specific data sources we want Grafana to consume and visualize data from, and then specify the applicable notification channels. Now, we'll review the settings and create the workspace. Once the workspace has been provisioned, we can assign users to it. By default, users will have viewer permissions. We'll make this user an admin. The Amazon Managed Grafana workspace needs certain permissions to integrate with Azure Monitor and pull metrics. We can grant these permissions from the Azure portal. Let's ensure that we've been assigned the owner role so that we can associate IAM roles to an application. Next, let's go to Azure Active Directory to register Amazon Managed Grafana so the Microsoft Identity Platform can provide authentication and authorization services for it. We'll retain the option that only accounts in this organizational directory can use this application. The application has been registered, and we can see the application ID, directory ID, and other information that will be used by Amazon Managed Grafana to integrate with Azure Monitor. Now let's create a secret for this app. We'll provide a simple description and then add the secret. Let's copy the secret's value to use later. Now let's navigate to our Azure subscription and grant the necessary permissions for Amazon Managed Grafana to access our application's resources. We'll assign the contributor role. Next, let's navigate to the AWS Overview page on the Azure portal and view our application so that we can reference it when we configure Amazon Managed Grafana to integrate with Azure Monitor. Now let's navigate to the Grafana workspace and add Azure Monitor as the data source. We'll sign in with AWS SSO. Here, we'll paste in the secret we copied earlier, and then copy and paste other information from the Azure portal. Next, we'll load the subscription and then save and test the data source. A message confirms that we successfully queried the Azure Monitor service. Now let's create a custom dashboard. For the purposes of this demonstration, an Azure Virtual Machine has already been created, which we'll need to run our application. Let's take a quick look. Here you can see the Virtual Machine is running. Now let's import the dashboard. The Azure Virtual Machine dashboard displays, allowing us to monitor CPU usage, network statistics, and other metrics. We can configure a Grafana alert to be triggered when a metric increases beyond the intended threshold. Before we do that, we need to create a notification channel. Let's navigate to a Cloud9 environment to create an SNS topic. Next, we'll subscribe to the topic we created. An email will be sent asking us to confirm the subscription. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll skip this step and move on with configuring the SNS topic as a notification channel.
Here we'll enter the notification channel details. Let's return to the Cloud9 environment to copy the ARN of our SNS topic. We'll provide the ARN and the auth provider, and then test the new channel. The test notification sent successfully, so we'll save the channel. Next, we'll create a Slack notification channel. In order to do this, we need to set up some prerequisites. First, we'll navigate to the Slack API and create a new app. For the purposes of this demonstration, a Grafana Playground workspace has already been created. In order for Amazon Managed Grafana to send notifications to Slack, we'll enable incoming webhooks. Now let's add a new webhook to the workspace. We'll select the channel where the notifications will be posted, and then allow the app to access the workspace. Let's copy the webhook URL that was generated, which we'll use later. Now let's return to the Grafana dashboard and create the new Slack notification channel. We'll paste in the webhook URL we copied earlier and then test the channel. The test notification appears in the Slack channel, indicating Amazon managed Grafana successfully integrated with Slack. Let's save our changes. Now let's return to the dashboard to create the alert. We'll configure an alert for CPU usage. As before, we'll specify Azure Monitor as the data source. Let's set the alert to trigger when the CPU usage exceeds 5% in a one minute period. Alert notifications will be sent through the channels we configured earlier. Let's test the rule. Everything looks good, so we'll save the rule and then apply it. After refreshing the page, we can see that the alert has been configured and the status shows as healthy. Now let's log into the Azure Virtual Machine and stress the virtual machine so that we generate an alert. As you can see, the health of the CPU usage is already decreasing. Within a few seconds, it goes to an alerting state. The CPU usage has exceeded the threshold, generating a CPU usage alert in our Slack channel. You've just seen how to monitor your Azure environment using Amazon Managed Grafana. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.